Hi YouTube, it's Alan Sugano. I'm the president of the ADS Consulting Group and today's topic is about this weird problem we ran into on, um, on this one machine. So we had a client, they, they didn't have the software uh, that was available on this particular app they were installing. The installer wasn't available so we ended up having to P2V it, which is physical to virtual migration because it's going from a physical server to a virtual server. So um, anyway, we we P to V did it. It took a couple of attempts, as it usually does. We don't like doing P to V, by the way, unless we have a gunner ahead. In this case, we had a gunner ahead because there was no other way to migrate the machine. Um, so the weird thing is, once we we got it running on the virtual environment, it shut itself down after running for exactly one hour. I'm like this is so weird. So. We found that the Windows licensing, licensing management service was configured to shut down the machine after every hour. Or so, also there was a system event ID um, 10074 that was set to shut down the server, and the text of the event was the process WLMS.exe has initiated a power off of the computer on behalf of NT authority backslash system uh, for the following reason: other unplanned. So. Um, and then there's a comment on how to do it. So basically, to, to fix this, you can run uh, and download PSExec. Um, and I'll put a link for PSExec here. It's part of one of the uh, Sys internal tools by Mark Rosinovich and Bryce Cogswell. And run the command um, PSExec-I like India, dash D like Delta, dash S like Sierra space, uh, uh, and then press enter. So that should give you a command prompt as NT authority system, and then you can type SC space delete space WLMS, and then type regedit, navigate to H key local machine system current control set uh, services, and delete the WLMS that's Whiskey Lima Mike Sierra key, and then restart the computer, and that should take care of it. So it it was a turd that was left over. We're not sure if it, I don't think it was there um, uh, from the original physical server, but somehow it magically got introduced during the P2V process. I don't know how in the heck that happened. But um, anyway, uh, or maybe it was there. Anyway, the, it was a little tricky getting the, um, getting the auto shut off to be removed. I will put these, the steps that we did in the, in uh, the comment section of this video so you can, it's easy, a little bit easier to follow. Um, if you run into this bizarre thing where your servers are magically shutting down and you didn't do anything, this could be a potential cause. Um, so, um, you know, hopefully if you run into this issue, you'll know how to fix it. it. It took a little bit of time to figure out what the heck was going wrong with this particular machine. So anyway, if you like this content, please boink, hit the subscribe button, boink, hit the like button. It does help out the channel. Thanks a lot for listening. Um, hopefully this will help you with troubleshooting a machine that magically decides to shut itself off. Stay safe out there. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.